Hey everybody, Fun Stampers Journey Coach Janice Whiting. I am coach number 49 and in this video I am going to showcase and review our Journey Color Burst Pencils. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so let's talk about what you get here. All right, so um, your Journey Color Burst Pencils comes with um, 48 pure color colored pencils. I'll talk more about that, what that means in a minute. Um, it comes in this lovely little tin, and I'll go ahead and flip it over and show you how what looks what it looks like on the back. So not only do you have this color guide on the back, it also comes on the inside of your tin. But let's just review this real quickly. So as it as it, you can read here, it says you can create your color palette. Fun Stampers Journey Color Burst Pure Color Pencils allow you to make amazing happen in a whole new way. Follow the chart below to bring the FSJ color palette to life. So let me see if I can do it this way here, so it's more your view. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um, what you can see here are numbers, okay, and colors. So all the labeled colors are, are our Fun Stampers Journey colors, okay, so black licorice, rock candy, river stone, gunmetal silver, brush silver, whipped cream, on and on and on, and they have been assigned a number. Now in order to create certain colors in our colors, in our specific Fun Stampers Journey color selection, some of them you have to mix. So for example, in order to create, let's say you want to make tangerine fusion. So that's this one right here. In order to create it, you have to blend um, 037 plus 013. That will create this color here, our tangerine fusion. Or for example, let's say you like cool pool. You would then choose pencil 024 and blend it with pencil 017. Okay, so there's just a little a little information. Um, and some of these, you'll notice, have a little X by them or a little asterisk by them, and that means you need to use either heavy pressure with the X or light pressure with the um, asterisk. All right, so let's go ahead and open these beauties. Da, 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 da. There they are, aren't they beautiful? All right, so again, that same guide is on the inside of your tin when you open it. And let's look at these gorgeous pencils here. So what you get is 48 pencils. You have the first row of 24. Then you easily just put your fingers here on the side and you pick up the tray and that reveals the second row of colored, pen of colored pencils there. So these are your color choices. Now, these pencils have an orange band to distinguish them between our um, water splash, our color splash pencils, which I will do a video on later, and they are our watercolor pencils, and they have a blue little deal. So if you're working together and you get them mixed up, you'll know that the color pencils are distinguished by that orange band, okay? All right, so let me go ahead and show you some of the things that I've um, done, created um, with these pencils so you can see how they work and maybe what the benefits are to them. All right, so what I've got here is I've got some pretty birds and I colored them using our Color Burst color pencils at the top and then I used Prismacolors at the bottom because I wanted to do a comparison. So let me go ahead and zoom in just a little. Just a wee bit there. Um, and again, so this is the stamps that I used. Aren't they so cute? These little pretty birds. Um, and again, I stamped the same image twice and I colored them using our colored pencils. So, <clears throat> everyone wants to know. What is the difference between these little beauties and the tried and true colored pencils that we're all used to, um, the Prismacolors? 
So in my findings, our colors are just as smooth and gorgeous and beautiful as the Prisma colors. So you can see here, I used similar colors to create the similar look. And I basically did that for each of these. And there is very little difference in color. Um, so why get ours? Well, ours, the neat thing that I have discovered about our pencils is that, let me go ahead and bring these back out a little bit, <clears throat> is because they are the colors that Richard chose to give us, co they coordinate with our colors and our color scheme and our papers and our inks and everything else. It means that they then blend really well together, they go well together, they coordinate well together. So it's really, really a good deal. So for example, here I am trying to color this bird and I wanted to find colors that uh, actually went well together, you know, that blended easily. And it was very easy for me to find. Literally, I just came over here and I grabbed, let's see, so 24, 25, 27, and 28, and they were in order so I knew that they went well together. So I was having to um, go kind of come and scrounge around my Prismacolors trying to find pencils that coordinated well together and that was kind of a pain in the butt. Um, so this was really nice to know that all I had to do was just look here, pick the, the first you know, a couple that went to, that were right by each other and I knew right away that they would work and they did and they, they blended beautifully. So for my, this bird here, I, I chose uh, the four colors that I did because they blended so well together and here at the bottom, of course, Prisma colors blend beautifully as well, um, but I was having a harder time trying to find colors that kind of naturally blended well together. So I had to do a little bit of more work trying to make this for than I did this one, okay? Um, so really, if you're looking for a set of pencils that makes it easy for you to choose what colors to use, then this is why our Journey Color Burst pencils are good for you. And so then go. let's go back to the quality as I was trying to um, color with these, I was coloring with these and really trying to see what the difference was, I found that my FSJ pencils were just as velvety, just as smooth and soft as the Prismacolors, if not better. I really enjoyed coloring with them and I really enjoyed blending with these pencils. So let's go ahead and um, give you some uh, information, specific information about these pencils. So I already told you that they come in the aluminum box. I told you there's two trays of them. Um, they are a wax-based pencil, okay? So there are a lot of different colored pencils out there. This one is waxed base. They're wax base, but they do have a light oil coating, okay? Um, and the lead is, I don't know if you can probably see that, but it's a nice size lead which again, I just got these um, uh, two weeks ago and I have been using them, um, but of course I haven't had them for months and months and colored tons and tons. But from what I can tell, that size of that lead is gonna make it much nicer as far as breakage is concerned. So I am um, hoping that um, they do not break easy. I will give you an update on that as soon as I, uh, in, in months, maybe in months, six months from now, I'll tell you how that has gone so far, okay? Um, and then, let's see, I think that's really the main thing. I want to go ahead and start doing a little color example so you can see how I use these to color. Okay, so I'm going to color this little pretty bird here, and again, I chose really simply, the colors really simply, because they were just right in order. Um, I chose 34, 35, and 36 to color him. So um, in this case, 35, I believe, is my darker one. And so I started with my darker one first, and I basically colored with the strokes going down because he's a little birdie. He's, he's one of our feathered friends, right? And his... Um, fur 
goes towards the bottom. So I wanted my strokes to kind of mimic the shape or the way that his uh, feathers would go. And I thought that I would go about midway with him. So I don't know if you can see that stroke, but it's literally just pressing down and then lifting up at the end. So I'm not sitting here going coloring over and over. I wanted to have a little bit of that stroke, the, the look of, I say feathers, but as long as my strokes are going in the right direction, that's what I want. Okay, so I, there I did the top of his head, and then I'm gonna switch over to 34, or not 30, yes, 34. And now I'm going to go in, and notice I'm starting towards the top, I'm mixing in, I'm blending that first color. I'm blending my 35. So how I'm doing that is I'm doing the same strokes and I'm starting where I left off, but I'm overlapping a little bit with that color. Now I'm gonna go around his eye, can give a little peek there, and around his little beak, again with those strokes, kind of like a paintbrush strokes, that's what I tell my students when I use this technique. Okay, now I've noticed that I'm coming into his wings a little bit, so I'm actually going to bring back that darker, pin the darker purple back 35 and I'm going to color just this part of his wing or her wing darker purple and yes I'm going over some of that um, lighter one that I just used. I'm going to bring it come back and bring in the medium tone for this middle part of the wing. And now for our lightest tone which is our most red and I will color the rest of her. And again, using that same technique where I start towards the center of the color that I previously used, blending it in. Now with these little bitty sections, I am just coloring like I normally would. Make sure I get in that side. Okay, so now what I could do now is I could come back and I could fill in any white areas that, you know, maybe need a little bit more color. Um, but at this point, I want to introduce our Color Burst Blenders, which I love, okay? So these little guys right here, let me see if I can grab a handful of them, are our Color Burst Blenders. Now, the wonderful thing about these is that it takes your coloring to another level. So right now, this little pretty bird looks good, but you can see in certain areas that it's just a little uneven. Now again, I could go back with my colored pencils and um, you know add a little bit more color, smooth that out, or I can use one of my um, color burst blenders and then just kind of smooth over everything that I've colored already, and it's really wonderful. You will see a lovely difference. It just takes the wax, the colored wax that you've laid down, and it spreads, I say it spreads it out, and I'm not sure how quite to describe it. It smooths it out, how about that? And it blends the colors that you mix, that you put down together beautifully. And it gives a really lovely, professional looking finish. Um, and it just looks so much better than when you colored it and left and just left it alone. So let me see if I can get you a little peek of that. I like to make sure I go over it well. And of course, if you color and you do your blending with your blenders like this, and you're like, oh, I still felt like I needed a little bit more color, you can go back and add that. Now let me see if I can hold this birdie up to you and see if you can notice the difference there. It is smoothed out now. It's nice and um, you can see that it's got that nice little waxy finish to it. Let's see if I can, there it goes, a little bit there. All right, so now 
I could take my pinks, and again, I just grabbed the two that were right next to each other. I grabbed four, or excuse me, I grabbed five and six. And let's see, you know what I always like to do? I always like to test to see which one's darkest, which one's lightest. Um, but the dark one, I'm gonna do just the center of the heart. And then with the light, I'm gonna come around and just fill in. Now I am going directly over that dark one because that helps with the blending. These pencils are so velvety smooth and so nice that you can make it look really pretty and blend it well uh, just with the pencils themselves. Going it over with the colorless blender. And then get a little bit of an orange. I'm using 010 or 010 and color Miss Pretty Bird's Beak. And you know I'm noticing right away that I forgot her little tail feathers. So I need to go back in there and color those. And I think I'm gonna color them with the lightest color. There we go. All right, there they are. Blend it in a little bit. And there's Miss Little Birdie. All right, so there are some little tips and techniques to use, how to use our colored pencils. Um, my um, final thought on them is that they're wonderful. They are just as good, if not better, than our Prismacolors that are tried and true. Um, I have a feeling that these guys aren't going to be so temperamental as they are. Um, already they're proving to be nice and sturdy and um, easy to use and lovely to work with. Um, so... If you don't got any colored pencils in your uh, crafting arsenal, you need them. All right, so let's get down to the nitty gritty, shall we? So our set of colored pencils, um, again, it comes with 48 colors, okay? Um, they're wax based with a light oil coating. Um, they are easy to use, they blend beautifully, and because of our color palette, um, it makes it really simple and easy for you to choose the colors that you need to color with for your projects. Um, and of course, cost-wise, everyone's to the cost, the cost is $79.95. So some of you who are new to colored pencils might go, whoa, that's a lot of money for colored pencils. Um, but if you go out there and you go to Michael's, let's say, and you want a set of colored pencils, let's say you want something something similar, about 48 pencils or something like that. Well, I did some shopping myself, some uh, research, I guess you can say, and if you went to Michael's and bought a similar set, a 48 pencil set, you would pay $89.95 for those pencils, okay? Um, and they're not gonna be color coordinated for you. So ours are, and ours again, have that lovely um, color palette uh, guide on the back and on the inside that help you to create the colors that you want. So not only are our pencils high quality and um, easy to use, they also come with that guide. So we've got a few things that the Prisma colors do not. Um, and of course, you may know that if you put in a uh, party order, so an order of $150 or more, you get few items depending upon the uh, amount of your sales you could earn these pencils for half off or you can use your journey dollars because you know that with a party order depending upon the amount of the party you start earning free money so it's something that you could put towards your color pencils because this I do understand it's an investment but I will say it is a great investment and it is a um, it is worth worth the money that they are Okay, all right, so um, hopefully this has been helpful. I'm trying to think if there's anything else to know about our wonderful pencils, and I think I covered the basics. Um, I will consider making a few other videos with some pen coloring techniques, um, but until then, stay tuned, lots more videos to come. Of course, the next one that I'm gonna be focusing on, um, introducing and reviewing are our our Journey Color Splash pencils, um, which are our watercolor ones. 
Watercoloring has been super trendy and popular lately, um, and I'm excited to give you guys a review of our pencils there. Okay, all right. Well, if you love this and you want these pencils, then come on by my shop. Head on over to www.funstampersjourney.com forward slash Janice Whiting. Um, type in Color Burst and the little, in the little search box, and these will pop on up. Of course, I will have the um, name and info and price um, at the end of this video for you to um, review and to um, just for your information. Sometimes the words just leave me and I just have to say something else. Anyway, all right. Thanks so much for your time. We will see you later. Bye.